Hello, I'm Dizet and today I show you another video about editing the pboot files to change the icon and the name of your games. At first, something we need is the pbp unpacker. You can just download it on Quick Jump, and if you have it, we also need a hex editor. Just Google one. I think any should work, and that's pretty much everything we need to download. Oh, and this example pboot file. Example. Okay. It's pretty easy. At first, let's check this file. If you have pbp unpacker installed, you can just double click pbp files, and then you can see the icon and the param sfo. If you double click the param sfo, you see the name. You see it has a lot of brackets and zero stuff, but on the PS Vita this is invisible, so this is basically just filler. You can pretty much ignore this, and we can see the disk ID. And currently it's NPEH00020, but this is not important. This is just to show you how this pretty much is structured. Then at first we have to right click and extract the param sfo file. After we did this we click on new and then we choose the icon 0 of the game we want to have. The icon 0 has to be 144 times 80 in terms of the size. If you have a minis, if you want to spoof the minis, you need an 80 times 80 picture. So it just depends what you want to have on your bubble. Either you have a square picture or a rectangle. If you have this, you can just drag and drop this into the icon 0. And then, as you can see, it now says the source of icon 0 is C slash downloads and so on. But now the important thing, the param sfo. We open our hex editor, then open the param sfo. And then we have a few things in here. At first, you can see the things I've just showed you in the pbp unpacker, like app version, disk id and so on. And the important things to edit are the ID, which is NPEH 0020. You have to take you have to change this ID into the ID of your base game. So, for example, if you are using Cubix as base game, you have to change this into NPEZ. Oh, and it has to be in, in capital letters NPEZ 101. And at the bottom you can see it says position 362, then file size 652, and it's important that the file size stays the same. So before editing and after editing, the file size has to be the very same. So if you open the file and it has a size of 652, and you close the file and save it, it also has to have file size of 652. Next thing is we can see the name is Kaon Hokaku Life and we want to change this into Final Fantasy Type 0 because in this example I am using Final Fantasy Type 0 as game. How how do we do this? Pretty simple. One position before the K we start with the name we want to name this game. In this case Final Fantasy Type 0. As we can see at the bottom now the file size is 672, which is too big. So we just delete the other previous name. Okay, this is now a coincidence because the name has a very same size. If the name is longer than the name which is in the file, like K and Hokagu Live is the same size as Final Fantasy VII, uh, Type 0, then it's pretty easy to replace, but if the name would be longer, for example, I'm changing the name from type 0 to type 0 space test file 123, one, and now we can see the size is too big and we have a lot of dots at the end. These dots are pretty much if I open this now in PvP Unpacker, the dots are pretty much these zeros. They are not visible on the PS Vita, and it's not a problem if we pr just delete these. 
so if the file name is too long I will change this now into just Final Fantasy Type 0 test and we can see it's now five letters too long so we just delete five dots the same will be done here Final Fantasy Type 0 test then we delete the old K on name and now it's still too long so we delete five more dots and after we're done we close this close it press yes for saving and then in PvP unpacker we drag and drop the new param SFO in here click on save save it as pboot.pbp and now we have this new file which is called pboot.pbp and as we can see it has a Final Fantasy Type 0 picture and if I open the param SFO we have the, f the name which is Final Fantasy Type 0 test and the other in unimportant zeros and we have changed the disk ID to NPZ00101 because I'm using Cubix as my base game. Um, this also applies if you're using clones. So if I'm using a clone which has the ID NPZ20101, we still have to use the disk ID of the original game. And the original ID is this one. So even if you clone your game and change the name of the folder, with the clone you still have to use the original ID. Then if you're satisfied with your pboot go into your save data folders for example I'm using this folder as you can see on the icon to transfer files then I drag and drop this file. You can also see it's also 20 kilobytes so it's very tiny. And that's everything you need to know. Next on the PS Vita you just move it with PSP Filer. Okay, now on the PS Vita we have to copy the pboot file from our computer onto our PS Vita. Then we use PSP Filer from within the VHBL and copy the file to the right place so we can use it. First I'm going to copy the save data I put the file in onto my PS Vita. And then we use the VHBL and start PSP Filer. At first, this is a Cubix bubble. As you can see, it looks like Cubix and has the name Cubix and is apparently 27MB. But it isn't. If I now start it, I have this cool key symbol or wallpaper or whatever. And then Final Fantasy Type 0 is starting. As you can see, it now says no loading. And yeah. On your device you start the VHBL or the game which runs VHBL. I think in my example I've used Uno, but whatever. On your device you run VHBL and then you run PSP Filer. I have a Filer bubble so I can run Filer myself. Important is, well, I say you should run it via VHBL because normally PSP Filer cannot um, get rid of these restrictions which means you cannot put stuff in the game folder but if you run VHBL and from within VHBL you run PSP Filer then you can get rid of these re restrictions. I have a special version of PSP Filer and that's why I can do, do it from the Filer bubble itself instead of just from, from the VHBL. But okay, first I will search the folder there it is. As you can see, the folders are NPZ20101 and, which is a 27 eboot, which is, as you can see on the name, Qx. And then the folder NPZ20101, which is a 2.8 gigabyte eboot which is Final Fantasy Type 0 so the game. If you found your folder you go to save data search the save data you need in my case it's SCES and there is the pboot then I copy it into PSP game 
and we copy it into the folder which has the end at the end. So in my case it's npz20101 and because this is the folder of my base game and the base game is Cubix. Once again you have to copy the pboot into the folder where your base game drin is. Not the faked game but the base game, the original Sony network game. As you can see Cubix the pboot Final Fantasy Type 0 test and in the not and folder we have our original well not original but our computer created game which we want to play. This folder just has the game and the end folder has pboot and eboot. If you're done with this you can close it and you can also remove the USB cable and then we use our trick to refresh the database. I will remove the memory card, press OK, so the device will restart. And after it restarted, it's refreshing the database. And if this is done, we put the memory card back in and we reboot it again. Unlocking the device. Memory card back in. Yeah, insert a memory card, reboot to use it. Yes. Okay, and the only thing we now have to do is wait. Um, an important thing is if your game was working fine, like at first it's working, and after the bubble trick it's not working. If this is the case, then just delete the pboot and refresh the database one more time. Because if the ID inside of the pboot is not the same as the base game ID, then this will fail and it will just give you a black screen. But if the ID inside of the pboot and the ID of the original base game is the same, for example, in my case, I'm using Cubix, which has the ID NPZ00101, and the pboot has also the ID NPZ00101. Then I should be able to use the pboot to change the name and the icon. And since the ID is the very same, it will still start the game we used, um, we want to launch. So in my case I'm using the pboot to change the name and icon from Cubix to Final Fantasy and with the other trick, like with Sign and P, we created the game which starts instead of Cubix. So if you combine these two tricks you can create your own bubbles pretty much. Since you can change what started and you can change the appearance of the bubble. As you can see, now it's called Final Fantasy Type 0 Test and information size 27 MB. Okay, and if I now start the game, it should probably start. At first, I have once again this cool key wallpaper because I like the look of it, and then Final Fantasy Type 0 should start. And it does, as you can see on the no loading. No loading. Then I will press start to skip all these things to get into the main menu. There was one. This was too much. But yeah, this is pretty much how you change the appearance. I actually wanted to have the video to be shorter, but due to the amount of information, it was a bit too long. And of course, everything is running on 3.36. So yeah. I'm the Dad and see you soon.